Welcome to our SunPower Equinox Pro Tips video. This video will demonstrate how to install the Invisimount rail mounted junction box featuring integrated grounding. For this video, we are assuming that the Invisimount rails have been installed and that the conduit and home run have been placed and prepared to be wired to the system. SunPower's rail mounted junction box featuring integrated grounding has a 70% greater fill volume than previous generations, making wire management faster and easier. Additionally, this junction box, when snapped onto the Invisimount rail, bites into and bonds directly to the rail, eliminating the need for a rail mounted ground lug. The rail mounted J box includes a pre installed lay in ground lug inside the box for attaching the home run ground wire, completing the ground path. To install the rail mounted J box, you will need a drill a 1 and 1 8 inch hole saw to drill the cable gland hole, a flathead screwdriver, a torque screwdriver, and two pairs of adjustable pliers. You will also need the J-Box, of course, and the included 3 quarter inch cable gland, plus the appropriate fittings for your home run. Let's get started. First thing to note is that a rail-mounted J-Box must be installed prior to the module that will cover it. Determine the location on the rail for the J-Box. In order to ensure that the box location won't interfere with the module's microinverter when the module is placed. Pro tip for perfect cable management, a best practice is to mount the J box under the array at the last module in the circuit. With perfect cable management between the last AC module and the J box, you'll end with neither a shortage nor an excess of wire. Now that's rooftop management. Now, to prepare the J-Box, you will need to remove the cover using a flathead screwdriver. Inside the J-Box itself, you'll find the cable gland and the lay-in lug, which is mounted to the center stud inside of the J-Box. Next, you'll prepare to drill the 1 and 1 8 inch hole into the J-Box and then install the glands or conduit fittings. Mark on the J-Box where you want to drill the entry points for your wire management. Locate each hole on the center line that lies along the bottom tips of the two ribs on the side of the box. Drill a single hole for your UF cable or home run gland, and size it according to the fitting you selected to use. You must never drill the cover or mount conduit or glands to it. Using the same method of marking the center line on the box, Drill a 1 and 1 8 inch hole to accommodate the included 3 quarter inch cable gland. If you're using the provided cable gland, install and torque its lock nut to 9 newton meters or 80 inch pounds. Pro tip, although not mandatory, best practice is to drill a 1 8 inch weep hole at what will be the lowest point of the J box after it's fully installed so that in case any water somehow gets into the box, it has a pathway to drain out. Fit the J-Box lip straight up and down into the top channel of the rail, and then tilt it downward until both of its tabs fully click over the rail. The teeth on the bracket will dig into the rail, creating a bonded connection. Manually squeeze each tab upward to make sure they're fully engaged. Now pass the home run cable into the box strip the wires, and land the copper ground wire in the lay-in lug in the J-Box. Because the torque value will vary based on the wire size you are using, you must refer to the tables in the Junction Box Installation Guide 537445 to obtain the correct torque value for your wire size. Pass the trunk cable into the Junction Box through the gland. On the included 3 quarter inch gland, there are three ports which can be used. Two for the DG cable and one for the copper wire. Each port has a rubber membrane covering it. Break the membrane for only the ports you intend to use and then pass the cable through it. Next, you will complete the inbox wiring of your home run and trunk cables. For more information on how to make these connections, refer to the Pro Tips video, Making Electrical Connections with the Buchanan Splice Cap. Fit the cover onto the J-Box and use a flathead screwdriver to tighten all four screws. 
Use a crisscross pattern when tightening to ensure even compression of the cover gasket. And then torque each of the cover screws to 19 inch pounds. Thanks for watching this training video. To learn more, check out the video description for links to helpful resources and other training videos.